so in this recording, I'm going to talk about GraphRag, which is recently released by Microsoft. So GraphRag is a, is a data pipeline. This project is a data pipeline and transformation suite that is designed to extract meaningful structured data from unstructured text using the power of LLMs. Right? If I go to the documentation, again, GraphRag is able to connect information across large volumes of information and use these connections to answer questions that are difficult or impossible to answer using keyword and vector-based search mechanisms. Right? So this is uh, something that I've been talking about for some time now. I call it knowledge modeling or knowledge representation. So the knowledge modeling or knowledge uh, representation is the process of extracting meaningful meta information from the unstructured data. Basically, the, the more um, entities, the associations between the entities, relationships, of different concepts that are spoken about in the unstructured data. To extract that meta information, store it in a graph store so that when we retrieve the relevant chunk, we can reduce the surface area of search by, uh, by uh, uh, using this meta information to uh, retrieve the most meaningful chunks based on a question. Right? This this helps the the knowledge modeling or the knowledge representation or the extraction of this meta information from unstructured data, and using it to filter uh, the the context helps us to retrieve the most meaningful chunk that we can give to the LLM to answer. Right. So graph rag from Microsoft is also um, a technique towards that. It, it is uh, through some prompt techniques uh, and using LLM, it is trying to extract those meaningful meta information in various dimensions. And we'll see some of these dimensions as we um, go into the code and, and see how we can uh, use, implement this graph rack, right? So let's let's go to uh, PyCharm and implement GraphRag from Microsoft. So what I have done is I created a folder called GraphRag, and in that I created an input folder where I have a, a text file called tajmahal.txt, and this is a context I uh, content I took from Wikipedia. So we'll use GraphRag now to extract the meaningful meta information from this. Um, unstructured data. So the graph thread provides um, two pipelines, right? One is the indexing and then query. So first, the indexing pipeline, it extracts the meta information, um, various uh, entities, relationships, and all. And then the query, the graph thread query helps to uh, query this uh, information to get the meaningful chunks for getting the answer, right? So first, let's initialize the project. So when I initialize the project, so this is the command to initialize the project. Right. Now, when I initialize the project, you'll see it will create some additional folders and prompts, and those prompts are used to extract the uh, meta information so graphic indexer so if i refresh this i can see output this is where the outputs um, the chunking and the uh, meta information will be when we run the index the meta information uh, those artifacts will go and sit under output as a parquet file these are the different prompts that are used to extract the meta information. So claim extraction.txt is the prompt to extract some uh, meaningful uh, claims against certain en uh, entities in the text, right? Entity extraction is where we, it is it extracting the entities. Summarization is where it is summarizing the entities. Community report is an interesting uh, concept. So when we will do the query, we'll see there are two modes, global mode and local mode. When you do a local mode, the answer 
is given from very specific chunks. It it does not um, scan through the, all the chunks to give the answer, but it's very specific to a chunk. The global mode tries to get a perspective from all the content for the uh, all the content that has been chunked, right? In this case, the tajmahal.txt. That global search is enabled through the community report.talk. That's what I think I still need to uh, deep dive into it. But the community report looks to me like a map reduce type of technique where a chunk is summarized and then uh, finally you get a summary of uh, all the chunks. And when a question is asked uh, in the global mode, it tries to get the answer by um, by looking at by looking globally through the through the uh, through all the concepts that are uh, spoken about in the document. So these are the prompts, and if you see, it has created a settings.yaml where so the GraphReg API key. This is the API key that I will use. This uh, this is the API key I'll use. I'll I'll delete it. So uh, that's why I'm showing it uh, after recording it. I'll delete this. Then you will see that uh, by default, the model is just GPT-4 Turbo Preview. That means we can use other uh, GPT models as well as we should be able to use Azure OpenAI, Olama, uh, any other model also we can use to extract this uh, meta information. Then the embeddings, uh, it is using OpenAI embedding, text embedding three small, but we should be able to use any other embedding model as well. And in the .env, is where we have the graph graph rag API key. It created a .env file, and here I I will now substitute it with the actual uh, API key. So this is the API key. Now I am ready to run the uh, indexing part of it. Right. So the first part is indexing, as I mentioned. So for indexing, we'll run graph rag dot index. And we'll say run this on the root folder. Yeah, everything on the under the root folder, right? So when I do index, it should start indexing. So in the settings.yaml, you'll see that the default chunking is uh, 300 tokens, right? Now here you will see it will start chunking it in 300, 300 and 268, 68, right? It has chunks the document into four chunks, right? And uh, it is now extracting, the entity extraction is happening. So, yeah. yeah it is extracting the entities now. 95%, okay. Yep. So if you see, so this are the, it has created, uh, the embeddings also for the text unit IDs created the embeddings, right? And then it has created the relationships also, right? So this is a, uh, uh, okay, This these are the entities, type of the entities, and there should be some relationship IDs. So these are the uh, relationships as well, right? Uh, relationships and the entities have a ID. So that's how they are, uh, matching it right but this this so these are the final nodes that it has created right uh, the communities it has created um, from the uh, text and then we saw that the embeddings also for the uh, nodes right it has created the nodes and since now it is completed right it if i go to output you'll see that now it has created a new folder. Under that, we have this artifacts, right? Um, I have uh, all this uh, parquet file, right? Now, let me copy this and we'll look at one or two of those of these files. Right? Yeah. Now let me go to a uh, online parquet viewer. 
So here, let me drag and drop one of the files. So here, let's look at the nodes. Right. So if you see, you see the nodes it has extracted. And these are the nodes is extracted source ID, uh, right? And we can also see the source target, the relationship. I think those are part of this Parquet file here. Relationship, final relationship. This should have the source and the target nodes, right? So source and target. So Taj Mahal and Shah Jahan are connected. So there is a weightage also, how strong these connections are. Right? That's how it is extracting using those uh, prompts. Right? Now that we have uh, done indexing it, let's do the query. Right? So for doing the query, we'll run this uh, command. Right? Where it is uh, it's the same uh, type of command. Instead of graph rag dot index, we have graph dot query, and the method is global. And I say, what is Taj Mahal? Now, when I do that, it is actually um, now retrieving from this uh, Parquet file. I still need to uh, find out if there is a way this can be pushed to a uh, new Forge type of. Uh, database, but uh, looks like uh, by default, it is creating the parquet file and the park from the parquet, it is trying to get those relationships and all to give the answer. Okay. So now it has read the settings uh, from the settings.yaml, right? And uh, max token is 4,000. The model used is GPT-4 Turbo Preview. It is trying to get an answer. Let's see what answer it brings up. Yep, this is the answer. So uh, finally, it gave global search, global search response. The Taj Mahal stands as a monumental testament. Right? It, it gave a pretty good answer, right? For local search, I just say local. So local search looks like for very, uh, it doesn't go through all the, chunks it uh, is it goes through uh, specific chunk uh, right and and provides answers from um, very specific uh, chunk i still need to look at the code and uh, the graph rate code and see how it is deciding uh, which is the most specific chunk it may be a combination of the graph search and uh, the uh, embedding search. Right? So this is this is what we got when we gave the local search. Right? So this is the local search response. Right? So that's how the graph rag um, has been implemented. I'm going to do more research on this because this is one of the areas I'm focusing on, um, not which is which I call it knowledge modeling or knowledge representation. As I find more, I'll share more. Thank you.